Mary here. I have been asked to provide a simple vegan recipe for dehydrating for a backpacking trip or through hiking trips such as the PCT, AT, CDT, any kind of hiking trip or camping trip really that you want to carry some hearty and nutritious food with you but you don't want all that extra weight. So by dehydrating the recipe what you're doing is taking all the moisture out of it which is basically a lot of the weight and then what you do is when you get to camp you just add the water back to it and rehydrate it again by boiling it or letting it sit for a while. So the recipe I'm going to show you today is a black eyed bean and sweet potato soup. It's extremely simple to make, it's quick, the ingredients aren't fussy, it is basic ingredients, none of these fancy things that you have to go out and shop for. And it doesn't take long to cook and it's quite cheap as well, plus it's vegan, so what's not to love? <laughs> so let me show you the recipe and how to make it. Now when I said this is easy and simple, I really mean it. So the ingredients are so straightforward. All you need is a tin of beans. The ones I like to use are the black eyed beans. I also find black beans go well with this, but you can use other ones as well, such as pinto beans, cannellini beans, anything that you like really. But I do use them out of a tin because we are talking a simple and straightforward recipe here without all the hassle of having to go through and cook all the dried ones and soak them. So a tin of beans, a tin of chopped tomatoes, we have two sweet potatoes of medium size, one white onion, I've got a bulb of garlic here but I'm only going to use two cloves of that, got an orange bell pepper, now you can use a yellow one or a red one if you prefer so you don't have to specifically go out and buy an orange one, I just like it in this recipe. I've also got some chopped coriander which are fresh, I think this adds so much flavour to the end result of the dish but if you don't want to go to the expense of buying fresh herbs or you don't have any in that's absolutely fine, just put some dried ones in, that's no problem. And the dried herbs I'm using and spices is some ground cinnamon, ground cumin, nutmeg and also some chilli powder. Now that can be mild, hot, you can omit it all together, you can add extra in, you can put um, dried chillies in if you want to, it's entirely up to you how you like it to taste. I do like a little bit of a kick to mine. Now all you're going to need now is a frying pan with some olive oil in it and that's it, we start cooking. All you need to do when the onion has been chopped is pop it in a pan with some olive oil that's preheated and fry it up for about five minutes just to get it a little bit of colour to it and so it's translucent and then add in your chopped garlic. and then just fry for another few minutes, just over a low heat. While the onions and garlic are in the pan, you just need to peel the sweet potatoes and then just chop them into small pieces. doing is frying the onion and the garlic in the pan. That's been going for about five minutes. I've chopped up all the sweet potato into bite-sized pieces. So you want to chop these quite small because when you come to rehydrate them, the larger they are, the longer it takes to rehydrate. So cook them into small pieces and then just pop them straight into the pan with the onion and the garlic. Give it a good stir around for a couple of minutes and then all you need to do is chop up your bell pepper. and then just add that to the pan. Let that cook just for a couple of minutes, stirring regularly. Now once the onion and the garlic have been fried and you've added the sweet potato and the pepper, all you now need to do is transfer it all into a pan so you can boil it all up together with the herbs and the spices. 
So transfer it to a pan. Then add in the beans. The chopped tomatoes. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cumin. Half a teaspoon of nutmeg. And some chilli powder for that extra kick. I then like to add about half a pint of water, which is about 300 mils. Give it a good old stir around. Pop the lid on and then bring it to the boil. Once it's reached the boil, let it simmer for about 20 minutes. Once the soup's all boiled and soft, all you then need to do is chop up your coriander. And then just add it straight to the pan and make sure you stir it through. I also like to add a bit of black pepper, but you can also add salt as well if you'd prefer. Now once your soup is fully cooked and your sweet potatoes are nice and soft, what you're going to do is let it cool down and then weigh everything that's in the pan. And it's really important to do that because once you then dehydrate it, you're going to weigh it again. And the difference between the two weights is how much water you're going to add back to it in camp to rehydrate the mixture. Now I put this in a dehydrator on 60 degrees Fahrenheit and it took about 10 hours but you might just want to check your own operating instructions. I hope you've enjoyed the video and that if you've tried the recipe it turns out successfully for you so please do let me know how you get on. If you've liked it please give the video a like, subscribe to my channel, don't forget to turn on the bell notification so you'll be updated when I post my next videos and as always if you have any comments or questions please don't hesitate to put them in the comment section below and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Goodbye.